All right, well, this is something different. We're going for an afternoon sesh inspired by Robbie Mills Fishing. We're just getting our sunscreen on now. It's just after midday. And I tell you what, this is my type of fishing. Don't have to get up early. We don't have to run the boat ramp shuffle. Everything was nice and easy. I'm not feeling blurry eyed, but the sun is hot. Humidity is high and I don't know if we'll get lucky, but Robbie Mills gets lucky. And if you've seen his fishing channel, he very rarely, well, I don't think I've ever seen a fishing trip of his where he doesn't come back with a good haul. So we're hoping that it gets lucky for us as well. And we do an afternoon sesh in the bay. The wind's up a little bit. So we're not going to be going out of the bay at all. I will stick around Bulwar and maybe some of the pylons and hopefully catch a feed of mackerel or sweet lip or who knows. Anyway, I'm Mark from Self Sufficing Me and let's get out there. He's a big fella, well, big for a, a schoolie. This is why we're pulling them up so quick. The chucks are crazy. Yes! Oh my god, finally the streak is broken. That's a good size Mac too. Holy! Yeah. I do say that. that is a good size mackerel. Is it a schoolie? I just used a bit of wire this time with a single yeah, circle I hook. It, yeah, I think that's a schoolie. There you go. Wow, that is. Uh, Quite incredible. This is about the only mackerel we'll be able to catch. We're trying to go for Spanish, obviously, at the Cape. This is, I think, the only as close as we'll get for now to catching a mackerel we want. I think wow. it's a big schoolie, eh? Hey? Yeah, it has to be a school. You all measure it. That's what you want. You want it just in the corner like that. Yeah. Hard to cut you off there. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a bit wide trace. I've added to this. Oh, well, there you go. So the trace worked. Yeah. And I hooked the livey through the nose. Just going to try and get this out. Quite difficult. Oh, 
There you go. Okay, put him on the bread, right? Just to double check him, but he'll definitely be 50. Yeah, so about... 76. 76, yeah. 76 right from the top. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Finally, curse is broken. I'm thrilled about that. Finally, something to eat. This Arvo session, you know, coming out here about one o'clock. Dropping a livey and uh, it worked. Yes. Let's bleed them. Would you look at that, Dad? Yes, I know. Finally, finally, we've got there. Oh, I'll tell you what, I was losing a bit of hope that we, I, I've got no doubt where we'd hook up, but I just started to doubt that we'd ever pull one back in because of the sharks and because of the lines breaking or getting chopped off or whatever. But thankfully, we were able to land this one. We're going home with something this time. He had it coming. Now he's used for bait. Yep. We said if we catch another one of these on this trip, we would use him as bait, and that's what we're going to do. Apparently they're good bait, so that'll be good for fishing later on. Winners aren't grinners in this case. <laughs> yeah, the grinner definitely didn't win. No. I'll put him, put him in the bait esky. Yeah. So we ended up getting lucky at the beacon, which was nice, getting that mackerel. And now we, that shut down the bite there, just shut down completely. We try in vain to get anything else. We didn't even get bitten off, there was no sharks. It just shut down completely, the bite. So we've decided to have a quick go at Bulwa, just along the drop-offs here, along the edges, and then we'll head back home. So hopefully we can get lucky here and maybe get a sweet lip or something like that. Let's see how we go. I'm gonna use a bit of grinner. Oh yeah. With a livey head. See how that goes. Couple of them over and over. Yeah, this will be another cod. They're not big enough. You just keep catching the same ones. We've pulled about, what, five, six of these up. Just all too small by about 10 centimeters. Be nice to get a, a big fat one. We've had enough of catching cods. We're trying another spot. Don't be a mother-in-law. It's, uh, it's the right colour. Oh, a little snap. A nice snapper. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. I need the net. It's good for me. Nice. That's a, that's a keeper. That's a keeper snaps. For sure. There we Gee, go. he's barely hooked. Yeah, right. on, on the lip. Right there. Good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. So that's the target species. That's what we want. All right. 
We're going to call it stumps and get back to the boat ramp before it gets dark. So we'll probably hit the boat ramp right on dark, but we've done pretty well. We've caught one nice mackerel and a snapper, and I'm very happy with that. An afternoon session it was, and a really good, fun, relaxing afternoon session. The wind wasn't too bad. In fact, it was good in this humid weather to get a little bit of wind. It blew the chop up a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. And the fishing was quite good. We kept our hand in for most of the day, always pulling something up. And we ended up with two good keepers. So I'm happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a big fishy thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.